Hello friends and welcome to YouTube channel Freedom Tech and in this session what we are going to learn in this session we are going to see how we can install the micro python on our ESP8266 with the help of Raspberry Pi 4 right now as you can see I have connect our ESP8266 module with our Raspberry Pi 4 using the USB cable and I have successfully installed the micro python on our ESP8266. So in this video, I am going to show you how to install the MicroPython on ESP8266. Also, I am going to show you how you import the ESP8266 GPIO pins with the help of MicroPython. Then we are going to simply control the ESP8266 on board LED. Right now, as you can see, the LED is on. So we are going to do this all these things in this tutorial so before we move to our practical friends if you learn something from our videos please consider to subscribe our channel okay friends thank you so much and just let's start now we are going to move on our raspberry pi 4 raspbian os desktop okay so friends now we are on our raspberry pi 4 raspbian os a complete fresh installation of raspbian os okay so first we need to simply open the chromium browser and we are going to search for ESP8266 micro python firmware and just hit enter ok we need to search for ESP8266 micro python firmware that's it and then as you can see here micro python dot org firmware for generic ESP8266 module simply we need to click on this website ok this website as you can see https micropython.org ok click on here and then it will open as you can see firmware for generic ESP8266 module ok if you scroll down here it's stable firmware simply you need to click on the first one which is the latest one click on here and then it will download the firmware as you can see it's downloaded that's it we have our now firmware now simply we need to open the Tony Python editor go to the menu go to the programming click on Tony Python IDE okay and it will open our Tony Python IDE editor as you can see it's open so we need to first click on as I told you this is the complete fresh installation simply we need to click on switch regular mode click on ok and just close once the Tony editor again we are going to move inside the menu session programming Tony Python IDE and it will open the Tony Python IDE editor like this way now we want to go for first installation the firmware installation simply we need to go inside the run select interpreter ok then this window will appear simply you need to select the the you need to select the editor means you need to select the interpreter so we are going to set with the micro python esp8266 as you can see here micro python esp8266 simply click on then as you can see here try to detect port automatically click on here and then you will see the usb 2.0 serial slash dev slash tty usb 0 this is what our micro python port in your case it may be a usb 1 or 2 is it depend upon how the usb devices you connect with the raspberry pi 4 i have only the first device which is the micro python usb 266 that's why it says here the usb 0 in most of the time the usb 2.0 slash dev slash tty usb 0 is the address the port address okay simply select it then click on install or update firmware ok then you will see here we have as you can see we have here the error esp tool not found so first we need to install the esp tool so simply click on ok click on cancel close the error click, click on just cancel and you need to go inside the tools manage packages and we are going to search for esp tool ok because it says it, it says the error that you need to install the ESP tool so simply we are going to search for ESP tool tool and just hit enter it will search for the package and as you can see the first one package is just ESP tool click on here 
click on install and as you can see the ESP tool is now going to be installed okay so friends as you can see we have successfully installed our ESP uh, tool okay simply click on close and again we need to just uh, close our Tony editor because it need to refresh so again we are going to go inside the menu program in Tony Python ID and it will open our Tony Python ID editor friends okay as you can see we have our editor now we are going to go inside the run select interpreter then we are going to search for the MicroPython ESP8266 select it the port as I told you the slash dev slash tty usb 0 selected then you need to click on the install or update firmware and then the port of course the slash dev slash tty usb 0 the firmware we are going to browse the firmware where we have uh, the where basically we download so inside the download folder as you can see dot build this is what our firmware dot build simply click on ok and we have our firmware path now here we need to click on dual io and the erase flash before installing is already selected then simply click on install and as you can see the firmware is now installing on our esp8266 it's erasing the flash only and it will install the firmware on esp8266 okay so friends as you can see it says done means we have successfully installed the firmware inside our ESP8266 simply click on close here you need to click on ok and it will automatic prompt us for the micro python shell I am going to make little bit minimize then you will see clear here what it mentioned ESP module with ESP8266 ok so now this is what our uh, micro python shell right now we can basically uh, import our uh, ESP8266 pins from the here so how to do this I am going to show you simply make like this way we are going to use the right now first shell so we are going to simply uh, control the as I told you we are going to control the ESP8266 on board LED pin number 16 one six sixteen. ok so let's just start for the code from machine import capital pin okay as you can see from machine import pin just hit enter okay now mention the pin this is just a variable pin is just a variable is equal to pin this pin which we import from the machine okay as you can see I have mentioned the capital P here it is also the capital P so from machine import pin so pin is just a variable pin is equal to this pin okay pin then we need to mention the pin number which we want to control so 1616 is just the on board LED pin of our ESP8266 board so 16 then pin dot capital out and close the bracket okay as you can see 16 is the pin number comma pin capital pin dot out okay now we set the 16 pin now we are going to set the value so pin dot value if I make the one the LED will be off or if I make the zero the onboard LED is on I can see here right now the ESP8266 onboard LED is on so this is how you can install the ESP8266 firmware with the help of Raspberry Pi 4 on inside our ESP8266 module also this is how you can import the pins now you can mention any pin number and control that uh, GPIO pin number of the ESP8266 module if you want to go with the 15, 16 the pin whichever available on ESP8266 module you need to simply mention that pin then set the pin dot value 1 set the pin dot value uh, 0 for on and off okay in next video we are going to see how to control or how to configure the ESP8266 Wi-Fi and the access point with the help of MicroPython using the Raspberry Pi 4 Raspbian OS okay I hope you learned something from this video and you also installed the MicroPython on your ESP8266 module we will meet our next video till then thank you take care and bye bye